How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Couple of things to touch on today. We've been given a new hotfix update for Forza Horizon 5. We'll touch on that. And we have also been given another clue for another new car that's coming in the next update. This is specifically a car pass vehicle that we've been given a clue for and we've figured it out. If you enjoy informational videos like this guys, we do the stuff like this all the time. Please do consider subscribing. Let's get into it. Now you may remember last week we were given the first clue of update 5 and this clue was from Playground Games themselves and it was a wordle. I'm sure you've seen my video on this before. You basically have to figure out what the word is and the word turned out to be the word Nismo. Nismo, it's very obvious that that is hinting towards some kind of Nissan Nismo vehicle coming in the next update. We figured that out last week. However, Playground Games has given us yet another clue for a different new car. They put out a tweet which reads the following. Another word puzzle, this time hinting at an upcoming car pass car. Can you solve it? Now, when you click on it and you solve it, you try and figure out what the word is. The word, the clue, turns out to be the word Tundra. Now, there's only one thing that Tundra could really mean. It means that it's a Toyota Tundra. The upcoming car pass car is going to be a Toyota Tundra. Now, we're not exactly sure which car pack, which year car it's going to be. It could be the new Tundra, could be in a bit of an older one. However, it's pretty safe to say that this second clue that we've been given is hinting towards a Toyota Tundra. Now, there's something interesting that I've taken from this. I made a video last week now on some more leaks which were found by someone on the GT Planet forum. The Admeister, the Admeister, I still don't know how to pronounce his name, sorry about that, but lots of leaks come from the GT Planet forum and this was one of the leaks that we covered last week. And as you can see, there was a bunch of cars which were already known to be in the files. However, very recently they were given wheel textures which basically hinted towards them being likely to being closer to be releasing. When you see files getting updated on certain cars, it shows that they're working on these vehicles, they're working on getting them released. There were eight vehicles that this guy spotted that were being updated in the files, and one of them is the Toyota Tundra. That's very interesting. It just goes to show that the leaks from last week are correct, and the Tundra was found in the files as of last week, and we have now today been given a clue by Playground Games basically telling us that the Tundra is coming in the next update. What does this tell us? Well, it tells us that not only the leaks are true, but it also tells us that all of the other cars that were on that list that have recently been updated with wheel textures in the files could very well be coming very soon as well. There was the Toyota Tacoma, the Toyota 4Runner, the Mini John Cooper Works GP, the Ford SVT Lightning, the BMW M8, the RS5, the RS4 and the RS3 were spotted as well. These were all cars which were previously found in the files but have recently been updated and it now makes sense as to why the Tundra has recently been updated with some more textures because we are getting the Tundra in the next update as confirmed by Playground Games. Could we be seeing any of those other cars in the update as well? Any of the other ones that this guy posted on the forum? The Tundra has been finished and that's being added. What else is coming? It doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to get these other ones guaranteed. It doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get them in update five. We may get them in update six, but it's certainly very interesting to see that this leak was correct and is in the works. As I say with any type of leak, take it with a grain of salt, it's good to see that this one's verified if you think the other ones are going to come. Obviously with all leaks, take them as a grain of salt, but it's very good to see. Now a bit of info on the recent hotfix we were given just a couple of days ago. It wasn't a very big hotfix, however it's still worth mentioning what was done in the hotfix. On PC they fixed two crashes, one of them to do with the Colossus race and one of them to do with having too many cars in your garage when you boot up the game. Sometimes that can cause your game to crash if you had that issue, that should now be fixed. And then in general, there were two other things fixed. The Audi TT RS, the new car that was added, had a really glitchy rear bumper that would often disappear. AR12 Gaming made quite a cool video on it. As cool as that was, that has now been fixed. And the second and probably biggest change is that they have changed some restrictions in the festival players to make them more appropriate to the countries being represented. This sounds like they have just sort of rebalance the cars that you can use within the festival playlist for the Horizon World Cup. I personally found that some certain countries had a lower end car and it was a bit of a disadvantage if you wanted to use that car. It seems like they've maybe rebalanced it a bit now so whatever country you want to represent it's a level playing field if that makes sense. That was literally all that was added in the hotfix update however lots of people have been complaining about the World Cup update in general just being very 
off. You know, there's something just quite not quite 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 blah, 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 not quite right with it. There you go. I got it there eventually. And to hear that they've changed the restrictions a little bit for the countries might make it a bit more pleasing for some people. That's everything that was in the hot fix and that's everything we have to talk about today. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the Toyota Tundra being added and if you think any of the other cars on that leaked list will be added as well in update 5 or update 6 even. Make sure to slap a like if you've enjoyed guys, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this and I'll see you all later.